Uh, another big matchup for the Big Ten with Penn State Pitt. Uh, you know, here's another rematch from last year, and these programs are in much different places than they were just a year ago when Pitt pulled out the win at Heinz Field. Now Penn State playing from a position of strength as a three-touchdown favorite at home. Yeah, and Pitt has actually struggled in, in early season games outside of the upset last year against Penn State. They're 3-13 and 13, uh, against the spread in their last 16 games in the non-conference, so they have struggled to live up to the hype early in the season. And you saw it last week. They really looked rough in that game against Youngstown State. They jumped out to a lead, let Youngstown State come back in that game. Really, honestly, Youngstown State should have won, and then Pitt's able to escape in overtime. Uh, Penn State on the other side, obviously extremely dominant. So many weapons on the offensive side. Saquon Barkley is going to have a field day against Pittsburgh. I think 21 points is too many. I, I would actually lean maybe slightly towards Pittsburgh covering the number. Uh, but I do think the Penn State is going to win this game by 14. It's going to be a 35-21, 42-28 type game. Uh, I think Pittsburgh's going to get the ball rolling. I think there's still some talent on the offensive side of the ball, uh, and I think Max Brown is going to only get more comfortable as the season goes on for Pittsburgh. But, I mean, Penn State has no business losing the game, and they also have revenge on their minds, as you talked about with that 42-39 win last season. They know that that kept them out of the playoff a year ago, and they don't want to let the same fate happen to them again uh, two years in a row. Josh, we're in the same range on uh, both of these games. Uh, 21 seems a little heavy to me, but uh, I certainly wouldn't be surprised if Pitt puts up a fight for three quarters. And much like Ohio State, Indiana, with a really, really good team, sure, they can struggle for three quarters. And then before you know it, it's a 28-point game. So Penn State could cover, but it could be kind of an ugly cover if there is such a thing uh, for the Nittany Lions. But uh, just a much different team. And and indication last week against Akron. I know it was only Akron, but this is a game that Penn State wins ugly, 26 to 10 or something like that over the last five years. But man, they played like a national contender against Akron. Put the foot on the throttle, you know, yeah. boot on the throat, 52 nothing, you're done, 35 nothing at a half, not playing around kind of thing. So uh, should be interesting down the line with the Buckeyes and Penn State. 